we are standing next to an inscription as our guy was talking to us. He, he actually made mention as he's walking by about the inscription that has two different languages. Um, it's like a Greek, type of Greek, and also the Latin on top. And the reason why I, I, I wanted to highlight it is because culturally, in the Greco-Roman world, citizens had to speak Latin, Roman citizens. Did you know there were more Jewish people in the Roman Empire than actual citizens, Roman citizens? Something, something to look into us. Besides that, this lets me know that Ephesus was an imperial city in which they had Roman citizens because they had to speak Latin. Now, he just highlighted for me, thank you, Volcan. He just highlighted for us a very important word, neocoros. Come on up. In Latin? Latin. Yeah, neocoros. Neocoros. In Latin, in Latin, and in Greek. Now, that's an important word because that set up this city as a temple guardian now that establishes a foundation for what happened to Paul and why the whole city came against them. Because once it's a temple keeper, that means that their whole allegiance is to the Roman Empire and the emperor. So here we have the evidence on a simple inscription. But if you understand the culture, this tells you a lot more than just some Latin letters and Greek letters. It tells you their status. It tells you their allegiance to. And it gives you an idea of the level of citizens that also lived here at that time.